Like I said before, I like my walls and I want to keep them. Grandma trying to go to Home Depot to buy new walls. I'm not. I'm not trying to go to Home Depot to buy new walls because I, I just can't afford that right now. Not in this life. Not in this life. When I'm married, maybe I'll let him, you know, mess up my walls so I can build them again. Mm -mm. But now, uh -uh, I can't do it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hi my baby bears, welcome back to my channel. It's me, LaRuben, aka Goldie. And if you're new here, what's the gaga? What's good? What's tea? What um? So today's video is going to be a part of my new series that I'm deciding to do at least once a month. It is a very informative video on tips and needs to know on being a gay black male. This video specifically is about tips on bottoming and if you did not know um i jokingly proclaim myself to be the president of the bottoms and i just want to inform people on tips i think you should know to be the best bottom you can possibly be because i mean there's a lot of us out here and not all of us are taught how to do things like i was not taught by anyone how to be a bottom i just did it on my own and help hope for the best. That's literally how most of us learn. A lot all of us have guidance. So here's my video to express to you how things are done. Um, this video is for everybody. Like, I don't care how old you is because nowadays people are having sex at like six. Children are being pregnant at like eleven, nine. It, it sounds bad, but it's true. So instead of stigmatizing sex for little kids and this and that I just think it's best to inform everybody at a young age of the consequences and all the other stuff about sex so like I would advise you to just pay attention as much as you want to I don't know like I just I don't think this is just for adults because like I said children are having sex whether you like it or not anyways um so I'm gonna be looking down on my phone because this is where I have the tips um so this is 10 tips on how to be the perfect bottom um so we're gonna go from 10 to 1 1 being the most important 10 being very important, but not as important as one, okay? So anyways, uh, tip number 10, be honest with your body and know your limits. When I say be honest with your body, I mean like, baby, not all of us can, not all of us can do, you know, ne everybody can't be a bottom. Let's just be real. <laughs> everybody can't be a bottom. There's so many bottoms out here, but everyone can't be a bottom. A lot of us can't take but we consider ourselves bottoms, but we can't take it when it's given to us. And bottoming, that's literally your role in being able to take it, you know? Um, but when I say know your limits, don't go try to get a 10 inch when, girl, you know you can only handle a six inch. Girl, don't do it. Do not do it. This. You, sister, S sister, please listen to me. Listen to me right now. You cannot take this, okay, girl? You can't do it. Girl, you can't, I mean, if you can, you, you that girl, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to worry about my walls and I'm trying to like, I'm trying to help you. Like, girl, you can't take stuff like this. This is dangerous, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to make this funny, but girl, this is dangerous. Not everybody can take this. Some girls can. That's the power bottom, girl. Some girls can take this and just don't care and live on life. No organs falling out, no nothing, girl. But everybody, everybody can't do it, okay, girl? So know your limits. Know your body, girl. Know your body because, baby, we're not trying to find you in no hospital. And then, girl, you got to explain why you're in the hospital when your friends come. And then the doctor's telling your mama what happened. Girl, you can't lie. Uh-uh. Um, number nine, be aware of your hygiene. But I feel like it's very specific for bottoms because it's like shower before you even try, girl. I don't care if you just came in from the gym. Girl, if you know you're about to get some or even if you assume, like you have to be like very 
very aware of what's going on. If you know you about to be around this boy that's real cute and you about to go hang out with him, baby, you better have you. And this is another thing. One thing about bottoms, uh, a rule, and like I said, I'm the president of bottoms. Girl, make sure you have baby wipes on you at all times. Flushable, girl. Because you don't want to put no wipes in no garbage can until he go out to take out the trash and he see them wipes, baby. No, flush them things down the toilet. Evidence is gone. It's clear. You're safe. Everything is all right, okay? Make sure you have a bag where you have deodorant. You have spray. You have lotion. Girl, you should not be that kind of bottom and somebody smell you. No, girl, that's not cute, okay? And I mean that in all the nicest ways. I'm I'm not judging you, girl, because there's some of you girls that's out there that's doing that, and it's really bad because your sisters are trying to help you, and you don't want to listen. So make sure you keep your hygiene up, girl. Just I don't know how to explain it any better than what I'm trying to, but keep your hygiene up, and you know just make sure you're prepared for any situation, which leads to the next, the next number seven. Be prepared. And when I say be prepared, girl, if you know, if you know for a fact, if you know for a fact or a shadow of a doubt that you want some girl, prepare yourself. That's, I'm not even going to say, oh, a nigga say he finna come over or a boy say he finna come over. No, girl. If you know you want some, control yourself. Girl, you cannot eat that taco from Taco Bell. You cannot do that. Uh-uh. Don't do it. Girl, you see a pizza? Girl, no. Don't touch the dairy. Dairy is out of limits, girl. I don't care if you're lactose intolerance or not lactose intolerance. Girl, no dairy for you. You want ice cream? Girl, stop craving it. Eat it after he leaves. You have to, like, be aware because literally you're opening your body. And you're, like, opening your body for somebody. And... You want to make sure that nothing happens, girl. Be prepared for anything. Especially, like, if you have a craving, it's not even if you're about to have sex or if you know a guy want to have sex with you, no. If you have a craving for it, you make sure you prepare yourself because it's you, bro. You have the greatest responsibility. A top don't got to do nothing but come over. That's literally all he has to do and get hard. And that's easy. I mean, it's not easy for all tops, but that's that's easy. Their job is easy. A bottom, you have so much to do. You have to prepare. Like, that's like going into an exam, not like not studying, girl. You're going to fail the test. Prepare for the penis. Period. Period. You understand me? Okay. That leads me into the next tip, which is clean yourself out. Now, a lot of girls, like, I didn't know this when I was, you know, when I was coming up into this, you know, community and whatever. Luckily, things worked out in my favor. So, I did not know how to clean myself out. I didn't know what to do, how to do it, whatever. So, there are tools that us bottoms use. We have the same tool, which is a dish that females use. It's the feminine dish. It's, um, I'll put an insert of a picture of what it is. Basically, it's full with liquid, and, like, you can reuse it. I, I, I reuse it up to, like, two or three times, and then I'll get a new one. But, like, girl, don't even have an excuse what, why you can't get one, girl. They're a dollar at Dollar Tree, and you get two in a pack. Okay? Two in a pack for a dollar, no excuse. Do you understand me? Because I don't want to hear no excuses from you girls at all. Um, but, yeah, basically, you open it up, you push it in. And you squeeze. Some girls do different tricks. Some girls clench their... I don't want to say too much. Some girls clench their cheeks together. And they jump up and down. I don't know what they do, girl. I I just let it stay in. You know, sometimes you can get on all fours. Push your butt up and your head down. Girl, if you don't have a dish, girl, a water bottle. Baby, you feel this water bottle up? You fill a water bottle up just like this girl and then you put it on your booty hole and look you just Squeeze girl and you squeeze till all the water come out. It's gonna go up inside And grow when you push it out everything that you had ate come down girl And that's what you want. You want your body to be empty so that it can be filled again 
You want your body to be empty so it can be filled again, girl. Ooh. But yeah, um, so yeah, make sure you clean yourself out. Dush, water bottles, girl, if you don't have that, girl, I don't know, like, just use anything. You can take fibers. Just make sure you're clean on the inside because, girl, you do not want to paint on these niggas. You do not want to paint on these boys at all because guess what, girl? You're going to be the talk of the city. They're going to say, girl, you painted on me, blah, blah, blah. And, girl, you don't want to end up... This is a perfect example of what happens if you don't clean yourself out. Stop! 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 <laughs> you see, girl, uh-uh. See, I'm trying to prevent that. I'm trying to help you out, sister. Because guess what? Like I said before, boys don't have to prepare for anything. Girl, if he's asking you for something right now, you say, give me a second, give me 20 minutes, give me 30 minutes, Give me an hour. Girl, take your time because guess what? He's not going to be the one who has to take anything, girl. And guess what? You are the one that's going to be embarrassed when it happens. You will. Girl, it's happened to me one time. Girl, one time and one time only, girl. And I was scared, girl. I was scared and I was embarrassed and he still wanted to go. And I was like, no, I'm not doing this again. Luckily, he was a good boy. So, you know, like, he was nice and whatever. And, you know... I didn't get exposed, but I'm exposing myself right now. But, girl, I don't care because everybody does it. Everybody's done it at least once. I don't care if they told you they did and They did it, girl. They did. Um, But, yeah, make sure you clean yourself out. Like I said, and make the top wait. Because he can wait. He can wait 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Because he, he don't want you to paint on him, girl. He really don't. And if he's rushing you, say, do you want to get painted on? And I bet he waits then, girl. So, tip number six. Lube is your best friend. And when I say lube is your best friend, girl, I need people to understand that everything isn't lube. Lotion is not lube. Spit is not lube. Girl, oils is not lube. No, it's not lube, girl. No. Girl, you're ruining your body. Like, this stuff is going into you. So you have to be... Cautious of what goes in and what goes out. And, like, girl, no, like, don't let him put no lotion in your booty hole. Because guess what, girl? You're going to... It's going to burn. It's going to burn, girl. Like, friction with lotion. That's... No, girl, don't do that. Please, don't. That's like if you have a cut or whatever and you got lotion on your skin. Would it not burn? Your booty hole is an opening to the inside of you. So, it's opened with all your insides, which is also a cut, it's open. Lotion will burn you, girl. So do not do that. Don't do, don't do it. Girl, make sure you buy lube. And then here's another tip that I learned when I was in a sexual education class. Um, for bottoming, the best kind of lube is silicone lube. Um, and it's not water-based because water-based is more for um, vaginal sex, which is vaginas and stuff like that because they have, they have, like, a natural um, lubrication inside of the vagina. And, I mean, we have certain situations where we can naturally lubricate in a butthole. But to start off, you need silicone lube. It is very, very, very slippery. It helps things go easier. And then also it lasts longer. Silicone lube lasts longer, which makes it even more um, pleasurable for a butt and a booty and a booty hole. Period. So, I'm not rude. The next tip is communicate with your top. You have to let them know what you like, what you don't like, because not just as him, most tops are doing any nothing but trying to please themselves. So, guess what, girl? You have to literally tell him, no, do this, do that. I like this. I like when you talk to me. Th let him know. Like, communication is key. If you both are supposed to be having enjoying each other, don't just let him get all the enjoyment. Girl, take take some. Because at the end of the day, he has his pleasures and you have your pleasures. And as a top and a bottom, you have to like communicate on what both what makes both of you guys feel good, what pleasures you both. And you know, just like 
communicate. Communication is key to everything. And um, the next tip I have is to relax. I will tell you this. When I first started um, taking dick, um, girl, I was never relaxing. And um, it hurt way more. And then once I started to relax is where I actually found joy and and you know receiving and taking it because at that time it was like you know my body has I literally let my body adjust to something digging in it and like I like I'm trying to not be as graphic as possible it is so hard so excuse me but this is sex so you gotta be expecting vulgar it's not that vulgar but vulgar like terms or whatever but like let your body relax you have to like force yourself to relax for it to feel good it's going to hurt in the beginning it's going to hurt in general unless you are a power bottom you don't feel anything and girl congrats to you i just can't be that kind of girl like i said before i like my walls and i want to keep them very 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 Grandma trying to go to Home Depot to buy new walls. I'm not. I'm not trying to go to Home Depot to buy new walls because I, I just can't afford that right now. Not in this life. Not in this life. When I'm married, maybe I'll let him, you know, mess up my walls so I can build them again. Mm -mm. But now uh -uh, I can't do it. Mm -mm. So yeah, um, make sure you relax because that is going to help you, girl. Tip tip number three is be memorable. Okay, when I say be memorable, I mean he should not forget you. When you see him in public, he should just literally grin, smile, do something. Like, make him know. Like, there's so many bottoms now. Like, there's very little tops in general. Like, I feel like tops are going extinct. There's only, like, a ton of bottoms and a ton of verse bottoms. And it's just, or a ton of verse. And it's just, like... Where are all the tops? Like, you want some, like, when you get a top to the point where after you've done what you've done, he's like, oh, hey, you want me to buy you some food? Corey, you know you succeeded. You are, if you get a top to that point, call me and I'm congratulate you, girl. Because you've, you've won. If a top is unsatisfied or if he feels bored, girl, you just lost your top. Especially if you wanted that top for a long time. Like, you've lost him already. Don't just let somebody dog you out. Like, don't let these tops just overpower you, put you in a chokehold. I mean, if you into that kind of stuff, yeah, but, like, make sure you, like, take control of him, too. Don't let somebody just, like, beat, beat you up. Girl, it's just like a fight. Don't let him beat you up. Girl, get at least five licks in. You know, do what you gotta do. Period. Ride. Girl, do a scrabble on a wall. Do a split on the floor. Girl, do the split on a... You already know. Like, don't don't just let him dog you out, girl. Very much so be memorable. Don't be forgettable. I don't like forgettable girls. And that's... If you are forgettable, you are going to jail. Period. Okay, and then tip number two, which I find, like, it's very, very hard because I was... I'm in this predicament most of the time. You have to learn how to keep your emotions in check because honestly, as a bottom, you're literally opening your whole entire body for someone to get in. So you have to like, at least me, I had to trust people enough to let them inside of me. So with trust, you started like, you kind of build a bond. But, like, you have to learn how to keep your emotions in check because most of these tops out here do not care. They won't care. They're just there to get your nut and leave. And, you know, so you can't be attached to somebody that don't really care about you because, girl, you're going to be the one hurt. He's going to make you look like you're the problem. And you're, th like, even if you talk to them about how you feel, girl, don't. Like, make them want you. Be more than you want them. Like, girl, keep this guard up to a certain degree that, like, you don't get your emotions too involved so that, like, you know, don't get your emotions too involved. Just don't. Please, girl, just don't get your emotions too involved because these tops do not care. They don't. And then the last tip.
for all you bottoms, for all you tops, for all you verse, all, all of us in general, girls, males, dogs, cats, girl, make sure you use condoms. And girl, I don't care if the tops say, oh, I'm allergic to condoms, oh, I'm clean, oh, um, what do they say? Oh, we gonna keep doing this. You know, so it's just gonna be me and you. I'm clean, you clean, like ask you, you clean. Girl, it don't matter if you clean, you're dirty, whatever the case may be, girl, use a condom. If they say they're allergic to condoms, girl, get another condom that they're not allergic to. Do not have sex with these boys without a condom at all. Especially as a bottom, it's worse because if you're having sex without a condom, girl, the semen is going inside of you. It's harder for a top to contract any disease it's easier for a bottom to contract the disease and girl, they're not gonna care about you. And some people are literally preying on you to catch a disease, girl. Like some people don't care if they have it. They don't they don't care. They don't care, girl. Just they don't care. So make sure you use a condom. Okay. But anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. I know I went on and on, but these are some tips that I wish I would have known when I was um, younger and you know I first came into this community not knowing what was going on as a bottom what was a bottom girl I didn't know what a bottom was for a long a long 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 time but yeah so yeah just um you know keep up with yourself make sure you get tested do all that stuff like girl it's so difficult in this world right now and Trump is just Trump is just Trump so grow things are changing People are making new laws. We don't know what kind of laws are going to be brought into play in the future about, you know, gays and things like that. So make sure you, you know, be aware of what you're doing, how you're doing it, and be safe. And that's all I can really teach you. I'll be back with another video, uh, you know, a gay one-on-one -on -one tips and stuff like that next month. And I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mwah.